Ambassador Martin Pana, Dean of the Group of African Ambassadors and Ambassador of Cameroon to China, has extolled Nigeria's lead in deepening diplomatic relations among Africans. Mpana said this while commending Ambassador Baba Ahmed Jida, Ambassador of Nigeria to China, for the initiative to host all new African ambassadors and their spouses at the Nigerian Embassy in Beijing. I thank you for the opportunity to have us all to gather here in your places, in the residence of the ambassadors of Nigeria in Beijing. And uh, we did well as well to invite not only the spouses, but as well some outstanding figures. The ambassador, I wish to tell you thank you first. Thank you because you filled the gap. We have received since, I would say, last year, since November 2021, after the four cup, many colleagues left. And uh, within the African group, we didn't meet formally. In the meantime, many colleagues came in, assumed their duties, and uh, of course, as in, I have the privilege of meeting them, I would say, at a very early stage, because when they assume their duty, they pay a courtesy call to the dean. Tida, the host, said that the event was to welcome the new ambassadors and their spouses into the African family in Beijing. This evening is meant to be an evening of a dinner welcome reception in honor of our new ambassadors and their spouses. Coincidentally, this evening also happens to be the Chinese meet Welcome Festival. So we might as well add it and celebrate it with the people of China. Is a very important festival. Sadly, only this evening, as I was discussing with the ambassador of the African Union, yesterday happened to be 20 years anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations between China and the African Union. So, three to one. The presence of spouses is not by accident. There are two important spouses here who would definitely like to be elected. I just I started with genius. Hey. <laughs> she would need to raise the spouses. But then the African ambassador spouses have a democratic way of choosing their duties. But they have a way of choosing their leaders, I think, once every year. And my spouse, our spouses of African ambassadors here in China. So there is no way we will invite an ambassador without a spouse because we have to pay. And therefore, we have to do anything like a family reception without the presence of our spouses. We have only one day to be celebrated for our presence is during the 5th of May. Every year, all our country, countries, they celebrate the African Day. Because that is the day when the original organization was such. That is the organization of African unity. The AU is just a byproduct that organization which used for a long, long time. So, during this, the lines of each uh, September, we need to commemorate the day by issuing statements, which summarizes what we have achieved over the last 20 years. Together with all of you, we can do much for our continent. Also, the coordinator of the United Nations Development System pledged support for initiatives towards infrastructural development in Africa. I just want to say that, and I, I, I remind the Chinese these often at different levels. I said, you know, if you have to sustain, and I tell the Europeans this, the Americans this, 
I said, if you have to maintain your velocity of growth, you have to invest in Africa now. Because this is a population will be 2.5 billion by 2050. It is going to be the biggest market of consumers and producers. It is the youngest continent in the world. It's a, the median age of Africa is 18, whereas the median age of China is already 47. The median age of Sweden is 49. So the rest of the world, there is what you term as a demographic echo, but you have to shape and nurture those markets now. Now, in order to do that, we have to invest there. And which is what my simple message is. The ambassador of Senegal, who spoke on behalf of the new ambassadors, commended Jida for his fatherly role in the country. On behalf of the new ambassadors, including my from the bottom of our heart, to express our heartfelt thanks to you. Since I arrived, I thanks maybe speak personally about that. You know, in Senegal also, and in Arabic, Baba means Baba, in father, you are our father. And uh, it seems we, maybe, we, we know each other since more than 20 years in, uh, in Beijing. And of course, we have the privilege to have this amazing African group. Because most of them, including our team, Ambassador Usman, they have a produce career in terms of being ministers like uh, Ambassador Gita in their country, uh, Speaker of Parliament like Ambassador Tishome. And this is an added value for us in China. I think this country is really amazing in terms of uh, positive perspective for Africa continent.